where this is. Let me see if I can find it on Twitter, okay, guys? Give me one second. I'm pretty sure I liked the video, actually, because somebody sent it to me yesterday. It might have been something else. Okay, let's see. No, I didn't. Uh, huge pay cuts at Blizzard. Okay, huge pay cuts at Blizzard. Huge pay cuts at Blizzard. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Huge pay Look at this guy. Is he happy? No. Um, at the Blizzard Founder, goes off. He's going to pop off. Well, I don't know if this has been heavily reported on, but a clip was sent to me. Just for context, this video has almost 80,000 views. So, and it's only been posted a couple of hours ago. So it's pretty incredible how many people are interested in this and want to see this. So uh, let, let's see what this is. Fuck this guy. Okay, so if this guy is an asshole, does that make him wrong? Like... Okay, well, we're going to watch the video, and, yeah, so, I mean, like, there, it's like, a stopped clock can be right twice a day. I don't know who this guy is, I have no idea, but we're going to watch the video even if there are some negative things that he might have said in the past. He's banned on Twitch. No, he's not. Salty Destiny fans in chat. I Look, I don't know, okay? Of former co-founder of blizzard spilling okay. some tea about some massive pay cuts i hate that shit dude now they have like oh spilling the tea that's the real tea motherfucker i hate tea like where's the dr pepper what do you mean that's the tea it's annoying to me which after some research research appears have been reported on earlier this month with uh the president uh, Mike Morheim leaving the company, yep. a company where he made nearly $12 million a year as the CEO of Blizzard after the activist. I should be the CEO of Blizzard. Why is that? What the fuck? It's a lot of money. Sorry, I'm not going to pause it anymore. Take out, take over. It seems like things are going very poorly. Uh, I want to start with the cutting of the profit share, the way the industry has spun it, and then okay. directly from the man's mouth. Mm. That's a little more interesting. Okay. So, uh, the end of the year bonus program appears to have been lucrative, at least for Blizzard CEO Mark Morheim, who yeah. just announced he's leaving the company. According to a proxy statement, Morheim is eligible for a bonus of 37% of his salary, which worked out to 370 thousand dollars blizzard tells GameSpot that last december it did away with the holiday bonus in favor of incorporating that money into employees base salaries which they had requested oh. would be the case in other words rather okay. than receiving a lump sum bonus at the end of the year it's now divided up into their pay throughout the year that's now that's better. interesting it's interesting that that is the way GameSpot is spinning it. I wonder who they serve because you have the former president, the co-founder of Blizzard saying this. There's public knowledge that oh, there the is. employees of Blizzard are not going to make as much money. Not like it's Nixie, a lot less years. money than they were. So Blizzard employees on the whole were paid below market salaries because they had a bonus program that afforded them the ability to make up for it a lot of people made decent money through this move out of bonus those. program but today or yesterday they announced that that program is gone so all the blizzard employees are now making shitty money that sucks okay worse than they did by a long shot no i'm not really an expert okay. in twitch clips or things of that nature but it appears this clip was from 12 hours ago meaning late last night uh, i'll look at the clip after this it seems to go directly against what GameSpot reported, which was that it was just doing this in favor of higher salaries. 
it sounds like that okay. Blizzard employees are getting totally hosed here, and one wonders if they are going to get paid out still this year for their bonuses. Now, I don't know if this is some sort of 4D chess uh, being put together here because the man does run his own studio, Greybeard Studios, I believe it's called. Okay. But you can tell he clearly has a lot of passion for the Blizz the Blizzard employees, but he also does have a, what appears to be some distaste for capitalism. Oh my god. Fortnite is making a fucking shit ton. Yeah. Overwatch is in Fortnite. Why have you Why? wronged us? Right. That's like he's, okay. he's speaking as Blizzard. We're going to get rid of the profit sharing program. We don't like this. We don't like the fact that low level employees make decent money at Blizzard. We're going to get rid of this program because well, we need good. more profits to increase our stock price and improve our shareholders and the elite 1% of the company. And it doesn't so, seem too out of the question. You're, you don't like this very much, Mike Morheim? Well, too fucking bad. You're gone. Now we pass it, and we get more profits. More money in my pocket, motherfucker, for your work that you're- Now, I don't know if he's drunk here. He certainly sounds like he's feeling it. If he is drunk, I'm not sure. But what I can tell you is this is some legit tea. I mean, it sounds like the CEO was forced out of his job for disagreeing with potential compensation changes. It also sounds like nobody inside the walls at Blizzard is exactly happy about this change. I can't imagine what that would be like. Now, I imagine more and more information will leak out today unless ethical games journalists choose <laughs> not to cover it. Now, this has been something that he has been pretty strongly railing on uh, the Activision uh, acquisition of Blizzard on for, for some time. Here's a, a little older clip. Okay. But Blizzard three years from now, I don't think will be even Blizzard today. It's going to be Activision. Yeah. Of course, Activision is taking over. Activision is winning at this slow game. Activision is exiling all of the Blizzard executives. You deserve that to hear. Uh, we don't know for sure, but that's what we... Thanks, Andy. It sure seems that way. Sure seems that way. Metzen... Pardo, Morheim, there's a lot mm -hmm. in the last couple of years of the most influential people at Blizzard. The top five most influential people at Blizzard, three of them are gone in the last two years. That, I would say um, that that's well, that's maybe this isn't news to you, uh, but as somebody okay. who's only recently started covering the Blizzard internals, this is pretty spicy. Now, this is probably not um, uncommon for a corporate merger to happen. Usually when two large companies merge, there's a lot of overlap in terms of tasks and jobs you do. Like a chief marketing officer at Activision is going to do a lot of the same things as a chief marketing officer at Blizzard. And they're both going to have extraordinarily high salaries. Usually when a company purchases or merges with another, they'll pick one of the two or neither of them to continue the job going forward as to not duplicate okay. duplicate effort and that's just part of optimizing and acquiring that makes so sense. i'm not exactly sure that there's anything personal going on here but it certainly thinks like he thinks there is um the woman with him clearly is trying to protect him a little bit by saying well we don't know that they're forcing these people out there i'm assuming that's his wife they appear to be streaming together all the time but uh i don't know i mean i'm starting to blame blizzard a little bit less for a lot of what's going on lately especially things like the diablo immortal debacle uh and it would appear that this is coming directly from activision and activision's long-term goals when you talk about that's true 
giving sweeping pay cuts to an entire workforce. Uh, let me put on sub mode real quick. Okay, how do I do sub mode? Because I, I can't tell, like, if this is a troll or not. Because, like, I, this is the problem. So... It's not down. Is everything fine? Put a one in chat if you can hear and hear what I'm saying. Okay, so everything's fine. All right, great. Let's keep watching the video. Uh, I'll rewind it back one minute because that's about how long it took. Everybody says it's saved, right? Twitch is wrecked. Stream's a bit laggy. Okay. Uh, just give me a second. Stutters. Well, the thing with that is, like, I'm not losing any frames. It says my upload rate is uh, above, like, 6,000 consistently. I'm, I'm losing zero frames. How do I do fucking... I don't even know how to do sub-only mode. Like, I would turn it on right now, but I don't know how. Uh, your stream never stopped. It's Twitch. It's just like impossible for me to know anything. Okay. Um, the Twitch machine got unplugged. Don't we have some staff in the chat? What the hell is going on? Come on, guys. Get it together. Are we ready? Uh, do slash subscribers. Yeah, I understand that. Nixiums also seem to be fucking. Okay. Uh, how are we doing now? Is it any better now? Wasn't me? Oh, okay. Is it fine now or is it still... Is it still good? Um... Okay, here we go. It's fine now. It's fine. It's good. Twitch is hacked. Activision got me. Yeah, dude, they're trying to set me, uh, shut me down. Everybody says it's saved. Wait, Jesus Christ, I still can't read it. What am I going to watch while studying now? What do you mean? No, you're going to keep watching me, Izzy. You don't stop. Everything's good, right? Everybody's saying saved. Is everything good? All right, take it off sub mode. Let's get it done. I just, like, I, I, if I have to solve problems, I have to put on sub mode or people just say things that are just, it's not true. Okay, yeah, take it off sub mode. Okay, guys, let's see if we can get this done. Uh, how do I turn sub mode off? Okay, all right, we're good now. All right, boys, let's keep watching. There is something there. There's definitely I moved it back a, minute. Uh, a motivation from a shareholder perspective there. I've been a part Obviously. of acquisitions on the bad side of them. I was probably okay. a better qualified candidate uh, than the person who took my job when my company was acquired. Our company being acquired was supposed to be a good thing, uh, but I ended up getting terminated with a nice severance package and it, it helped me uh, grow this channel, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, I was sure. more qualified than the person that took my job, but they were already employed at the company that bought us. So that's the way the cookie crumbles. And that would appear what's going on here at Blizzard and Activision. The question replaced. is, will we continue to see a purge? When he talks about three out of the five most influential people from Blizzard moving on. And remember, make no mistake about it. When a C-level, a chief executive officer, CEO, CMO... Uh, COO, generally when they get terminated, okay, you don't see it as them being fired. We just saw yesterday this Vic, the CEO of Victoria's Secret stepping down. This is probably not Victoria's her decision. Uh, just like it appears that it, this wasn't Morheim's decision, that he attempted to defend his employees, and because he wouldn't toe the line, he was okay. asked to leave. And generally what happens is you get a giant golden parachute when you leave, and you know, people yeah. have to event, you know, they have to look out for themselves eventually. It's it's just, unfortunately, uh, it's an unfortunate byproduct of the way things have to be. 
So I think this does not bode well for the long-term future of many beloved Blizzard franchises, especially if Activision is going to continue to take a shareholder first perspective on internal decisions. I find it hard to believe that you have one man saying that the entire company was criminally underpaid um, and other people saying that they were compensated well. Uh, I'm hoping that some Blizzard employees will use my tip line. Watsy asked for this, W-O-T-C asked for this at gmail.com and give me some details about the before and after of their paychecks, okay. which if they do, and I'm assuming I'll hear from some, I'll definitely share that on Twitter if you follow me at The Quartering, or I may make a follow-up video if I can reach out to uh, Dan as well. So okay, interesting news going on at Blizzard. Uh, this is not good news for the fandom, especially when you compare these cuts to the well, stocks not, dropping no. and, and how Blizzard's not. future is inherently going to be tied to Activision's success because they are one and the same. And the, the future of Blizzard may just be being absorbed and becoming simply Activision. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk okay. again real soon. Well, uh, I guess that's what's going on. Like, uh, I don't know really what to think about that, actually. Blizzard F video is 10 minutes long. Uh, it's 11 minutes. Uh, all this is baseless? Yeah, I guess so. But I don't know. I, I don't really think it's just completely baseless accusations, though. Missed half the video. Jesus Christ. I mean, like, should I even keep streaming? I mean, this is just ridiculous. I, I can't. Uh, like, I, I can't. Like, everybody is, like, just saying the stream's broken and it's fine. Like, the stream is fine now. We're okay. This is so, it's, people are so fucking annoying, man. Like, okay, I, I, I don't know. Like, I don't get this at all. It was fine, you're getting baited. Yeah, it's, I don't know, man. Like, I just, I get so tick, I just get so tired of this, man. It's fine, turn on sub mode. Yeah, I probably should, actually. Like, I can't even read this, just delete your Twitch. Yeah, apparently. Uh, okay. It's fine now, I just... Okay, I promise it's fine. Okay, guys. So, I guess now I can talk about it, and it's not completely fucked. Did everybody see the video, right? Okay, everybody saw the video. Personally, I'm pretty happy about... You guys can take sub mode off. Okay, it's fine. Everybody says it's fine. I'm going to assume it's fine. Uh, now, I'll watch the original clip, because this is what... Uh, uh, this is what the guy actually said uncut. And this guy, uh, his name is like... I think it was like David Brevik. And he was a... Uh, like one of the, like, what's the word for it? Uh, the president for Blizzard, uh, Blizzard North or something like that. Twitch has some issues. Turn the computer on and off. Yeah, I don't know, man. Okay, just one second. Let me go ahead and pull this up. Yeah, this, uh, this guy was basically the creator of Diablo. So this is the un uncut clip right here. Oh my God. Fortnite is making a fucking shit ton. Okay. Overwatch is in Fortnite. Why have you Why? wronged us? Right. Surely okay, they... we're going to get rid of the profit sharing program. We don't like yeah, this. CEO we don't like North. the fact that low-level employees make decent money at Blizzard. We're going to get rid of this program because we need more profits to increase our stock price and improve our shareholders and the elite 1% of the company. And so therefore, you are you don't like this very much, Mike Morheim? Well, too fucking bad. You're gone. Fuck them, dude. Now we pass it and we get more profits. Okay. More money in my pocket, motherfucker, for your work that you're- Wow. Oh my God. That guy's not happy at all.